everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title, this is the 6th month of development of the game I'm making. So I will be sharing with you all the progress I have made in this month. I hope you will enjoy it. And well, let's start. So in the last episode I was working on the second sun and I had finished some general things of it. And I thought that it would be nice to start making the third sun and well, that's what I did. You'll see, the process that I follow to create a new sun is that I first question myself two things. The first one is what ambience or what environment do I want the sun to feel? And the second one is what mechanics can I implement in this sun that could be fun or challenging to play? Answering to the first question, I decided that I wanted the third sun to feel like an abandoned castle. So I started working on some tile sets that could fit that idea. And for the moment this is what I got. Now trying to answer to the second question, I can say that some ideas came to my mind. But the two that I found the most interesting were a reverse mechanic and some kind of door key mechanic that I will explain later on. So let's first talk about the reverse mechanic. What this mechanic does is that once you pass through it, the inputs of the control switch. So what this means is that if you press right, you actually go left, and if you press up, you go down, and that kind of stuff. And I have been trying out this mechanic, and actually it's pretty challenging, complex, and fun. I hope that you will find that too when you can play the game. And as you can see, I made some sprites for the mechanic. And I also wanted to give a visual feedback to the player to let him know when he's under the reverse effect. And some weird things happen, but now is working very nicely. Now let's talk about the door mechanic. So what this mechanic does is that you cannot pass a specific area if you don't have the keys to open the door. And I programmed this mechanic to let me choose how many keys I want the player to have to open the door. Once I had it working, I started creating the sprites and animations of this new mechanic. And well, another thing that I wanted to create were the rain particles, and that's what I did. And... Uh, oh... I think this is not who the rain should look like. Excuse me a minute. Okay, now it's right. So as you can see guys, this is how the rain looks like. And something curious that happened is that I published a short video about what I was working on on Twitter and Facebook and some of you guys let me know that you thought that the rain would look better if I added to it a random angle in order to not be so vertical. And well, I did that and I actually like it more this way. But what do you think guys about it? And at the final of this month, I started doing the level design of this third sound, testing the new mechanics that I have shown you in this video. So that will be the progress I have made in this sixth month of development. Thank you all for watching the video until the final and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any suggestion, doubt or comment, you can put it down below in the comments. And well, that will be all for my part, if you like the content, consider subscribing and sharing it. And I'll see you next month.